While some of us saw a brief soaking of rain this afternoon, it's not nearly enough to help relieve the drought conditions worsening across the state. The latest drought monitor shows parts of the state in severe drought with more heat and dry spells on the way, as you just heard from Lisa. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell spoke with a farmer in Elk River who says it's not just the lack of rain impacting crops, it's also the deer. We have a clay mix and normally it's not powdery like this at all. Like this is it's crazy. At the Nelson family farm in Elk River. We haven't had rain here in probably almost two months. It's the drip irrigation system keeping these rows of vegetables alive. You get tons of rain for like three weeks straight and then you get no rain and it's just, there's no consistency. Justin Nelson's parents started the farm 37 years ago. The family wants to expand another two acres or so, but the land is too dry to plow. The plow gets just stuck because it's like concrete underneath here. The drought delayed planting and hiked up costs and labor. Every time we plant a patch, we have to lay drip tape right away. It just takes a lot of time and, and extra money too. With dry land surrounding the farm, Justin thinks the deer are looking for new food sources. Recently, they hopped the electric fence to get to their pepper crop. We had a herd of deer that came in here and they ate like 50% of our peppers. If you go down through the rows, I mean, they, they nipped off the tops of every single plant. More than a thousand plants were destroyed. It's very discouraging because you're just like, oh, I just put in all this time seeding these peppers, growing them in the greenhouse, planting them, all for them just to be gone. They now use a repellent, which seems to be working. Down. It's all natural, an organic type of spray and the deer can't stand the taste and the smell of it. Another tool to keep them from being at the mercy of Mother Nature. In Elk River, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. If drought conditions continue, supply could dwindle, making costs at the grocery store rise.